Okay, today we're talking about troubleshooting a fan coil unit. So what is a fan coil unit? Here is a representation of a fan coil unit. They're ubiquitous in the commercial office environment. They usually sit up inside the drop ceiling. They suck air in through a return grill in the drop ceiling through these pleated air filters. The blower blows that air across either a heating coil or a cooling coil or both, depending on what type of fan coil unit you have. That cooled or heated air then goes out the supply plenum, out the ductwork, and out the ceiling supply registers or diffusers. So let's go over the three main issues that I've encountered in my experience with fan coil units. First issue would be no power. Second issue would be not heating. Third issue would be not cooling. So what would cause no power? Well, if the circuit breaker is tripped or turned off, if your disconnect switch on the side of the unit is turned off, a lot of times with the fan coil units I work on, you have 480 volts coming in on a disconnect switch that provides power to the electric heating elements or duct heater. Then you'll have a separate 120 volt single phase circuit coming in on a different switch to provide power to the fan coil blower motor. So check for those switches being off. Other things to check for with no power, using your meter, of course, or a non-contact voltage tester. Inside your, your control box here, check for power. Wear proper PPE. You can check for a blown fuse up on the controller. Check for blown fuses down in the main box where the heating elements come into. Once you have power to your fan coil unit, if it's in heating mode and it's not heating, some common things to check for that I've noticed that will be wrong or incorrect that I've found. Make sure your BAS is set to heating mode. Check the temperature set points. Uh, check the room thermostat if you just have it controlled by a remote thermostat. Make sure it's in heating mode. Other things to check for is are the contactors pulled in providing that 480 volts going to the electric heating elements. If they're not pulled in, check to see why are they not. Are they getting power to the coil? Is the controller sending power to the rib? Is the rib sending power to the coil? But the contactor has failed and is not pulling in, might need to be replaced. Or are you not getting that 24 volt or 120 volt control signal to the coil to pull in the contactor. If you don't have contactors on your electric heaters, you may have heater sequencers or a general purpose relay or relays that look like this. Again, same rule applies. You got power coming in, power going out. On your coil, are you getting your 24 volts or 120 volts in and out of the coil? To energize the contactor. Also, if is a blower fan running? The blower fan needs to be running in order for the air pressure switch to close and allow the control circuit to be completed. Because the heating elements cannot be on if that blower motor is not running for obvious safety reasons. Also check to see if you have a open uh, thermal overload or a tripped one-shot fuse. And if you don't have power going to your controller or your ribs, you need to check and see, okay, do I have 40 volts coming into the step-down transformer? Coming out of the step-down transformer, do I got 120 volts? Do I got 120 volts going into my second step-down transformer? And do I have 24 volts going out of that step-down transformer? Do I have 24 volts going up to my controller? Are my ribs the relay in a box that you see here? 
Do the lights on the ribs light up for the heaters and for the blower motor? If not, that could indicate the ribs have failed or the ribs are simply not getting power. Again, if you have a lack of airflow going through your fan coil unit, you want to check to see if your filters are plugged and dirty and need to be replaced. Check to see if the coils need to be cleaned because you need adequate airflow for both heating and cooling mode. And if you don't have electric heaters and you have a second coil that's a heating coil that gets hot water from a boiler, then you will need to troubleshoot that circuit. Now moving on to a no cooling condition. Again, you can see the cooling coil here. Some of the same things to look for. Are the filters plugged and dirty? Is the blower motor running? Is the coil itself plugged with dirt and dust and need to be cleaned off? Is the condensate drain pan plugged? Is the P-trap plugged? Is the water inlet and outlet valves open? Is the chilled water valve, whether it's a pick valve or a pneumatic valve, is it open and allowing water, chilled water to flow through the circuit? Is your BAS system or a thermostat calling for cooling? Are the cooling set points set low enough? You don't want to set them too low where you cause excessive condensation to build up on the coils and it drips out of the drip pan and makes a mess on the drop ceiling. You also want to make sure the ceiling diffusers are open. Sometimes there's dampers on the ductwork that need to be opened. And if you don't feel cold water coming through the cooling coil, you may need to check your chiller system. Is the chiller running? Is it producing chilled water? Are your zone valves open and set properly? There could be other issues, but those are the main things that I come across. I hope this information helps you. If you got any value out of this video, please consider subscribing. It helps this channel move up in the YouTube algorithm so we can help more people with their facilities maintenance. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.